There are 11 rules and we're going through the rules that relate to customer service. We've already talked about welcome, welcome, welcome. We've already talked about accept others as they are. We've already talked about let's get physical. Today we're going to talk about the idea of living your passion. This has to do with strategic planning. And it's very important because when you meet somebody who is passionate about what they do, chances are they're unmistakably tapped in, tuned in, turned on, and you are swept up. When it comes to passion, I look at that word and split it into three. Pass, I, on. I love the word enthusiasm. To me, the word enthusiasm basically can be broken down into ethos, the God spirit within, and asm, I-A-S-M, I am sold myself. It's very difficult to meet somebody who is very enthusiastic about an idea or another person or a situation or something and not feel the authenticity and the genuineness and the truth for that person that draws you in. So when we look at the word passion, I want to say that when it comes to customer service, passion yields a lot of positive things. Let me give you an example in dog training. I raised two beautiful German Shepherd dogs and I trained them for search and rescue. When I trained them for search and rescue, Kaiser, my big male, was open field and he would track scents and he would follow those scents to their end. In the case of police departments, it would apprehend a criminal. In our case, it was to find lost Boy Scouts and he'd lick their face in order to get them to respond rather than bite them on the leg. So when I called the Great Slobbering Awakening for Boy Scouts and I used the Boy Scout troop that I worked with a lot as my test models. Um, there was nothing like being able to train Katie and Kaiser in search and rescue techniques and have somebody watch and especially if they had children I would ask the parents can I borrow your kids to train my dogs and of course they were like well sure um, and we would hide the kids the dogs would find them and it would be just fantastic stories on the way home. Couldn't you just see the car? We want a dog. That's what the life of a working dog is all about. Katie, on the other hand, my female German Shepherd, could turn her on a dime. So we trained her in debris and rubble training, which is she would work the rubber pile like after a hurricane or an earthquake. And when she would find a live body, she would stop and she would bark. And then I, depending on the severity of the safety, would go to her to find that lost victim. But Katie was trained to stop when she found a victim, bark until somebody got there to go ahead and, um, and release this person. So when you see dogs working at their passion, like Newfoundland swimming to, to get a swimmer, uh, Newfies having their big padded feet like ducks, they're quite the thing to behold. And when somebody is in their passion, doing what they're passionate about, it is unmistakable how much they truly do enjoy working themselves almost. So when it comes to a, a passion, it gives us a purpose that's bigger than ourselves. It, it, it's an amazing thing to see and I almost think too that you can feel it. When we talk about let's get physical, the whole idea of touch being more than just physical touch even though dogs just love to be rubbed or massaged. Uh, Barkley wakes up every morning with a massage. So when we start looking at those rules and then we get to the idea of live your passion, it is very hard for customers or clients or guests not to visit us in the areas that we live given tourism, not to come into our shops and look at what it is that we have brought in that's very innovative and creative given retail. It's very difficult for people not to be caught up in the passion of the moment in terms of what it is that they're being shared or what it is that they have seen. And I think it's one of the things that dogs do very well. That if we were to continue to watch our dogs and build relationships like our dogs, you will know that they never meet you at the door in anything other than an absolutely upstanding, unequivocally, undeniable, irrefutably excitable and passionate way. So, those are the four rules that go into the idea of customer service. The topic that touches on that in the website is called From Wags to Welcome. And um, grab yourself a book, read it. It's immediately applicable to your life. That's the comment that we get from people. And it teaches us how to build relationships like a dog or our pets because they do it without 
any difficulty whatsoever. None of the difficulties that we encounter. So get the book, read it, and help me to create, help us, let's go viral with this, to create a kinder, more accepting world by building kinder, more accepting relationships. Thanks for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. We'll talk again. Bye-bye.